Welcome guys to my creative corner. This is Claudette. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. On today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at ideas and how to make those cards pop, be bold, and stand out. So some of the things that we're going to be looking at is proportion, color, and font. So hopefully some of these ideas would help you in the decision making process when it comes to buying your stamp sets. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so making those handmade cards pop, being bold and standing out. So a couple of things that we're gonna look at here. So we have a printed paper here, which we'd call designer series paper. And it looks pretty busy, so you have feathers, and it has a lot of colors going on, okay? So you have your blues, yellows, you have some um, rust-looking colors, greens, you have a variety of colors. And then on the other side, with our designer series paper, and that's with Stampin' Up, and I have my online store through Stampin' Up, this side here we have like bird cages in white and it's also on that rust color looking looking color. So we have a variety of different shades, calling them different names, okay, in terms of rust. Or you are burnt orange, whatever you would call it. So we look at this paper and we say, for instance, we're putting our cards together, and you look and you say, how would it match up with white? Almost everything matches white, right? Then I'm gonna bring in a navy blue, which we call Knight of Navy, and we'll look at that. And that looks pretty good. Then we're gonna bring in our black. That looks good with it too as well. And I really like this rust color, which is Cajun Craze. And then once you put your colors together, then you bring in some white on top of that to help make it pop a little bit. So we're gonna start out with one card, our first card. Okay, and the base of our card, we're gonna be using the white, basic white. And that, when you cut in your card, that is 11 by four and a quarter. You score that down five and a half, and then you have your base of your card. So we have some layers here. And this card, I wanna give a shout out to Katrin. I think it's Katrin Craft World. I saw this design um, on Pinterest. So we have some black, basic black cardstock. And that basic black cardstock is measuring five and an eighth by th three and four quarters. No, sorry, this is measuring five by three and four quarters, okay? And then the um, printed paper, I used the design with the bird cage. That's measuring four and three fourths by three and, three and a half. So it's like a quarter inch um, difference when you're coming down and you're layering your sides, okay? So that's this is what we're talking about is proportion. And how much you want exposed, how much border you want exposed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our glue and put that together. I'm just gonna put my silicone mat down to keep my surface area from getting um, sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue to the back of this card and I'm using a wet glue And I am going to line that up or center it so we have um, even edges all around. So you could make your edges as small as or as wide as you would like. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and take this, put some glue to the back of that. And then I like to open my base card and just we just want to center this. And I wanted more of the white to show more um, the border, white border to show. 
and I went ahead and got a piece strip of um, black and this black is measuring four and a quarter by three fourths okay and I went ahead and heat embossed this with some white heat embossing powder and you see how that white makes it pop so we're gonna add that if you choose you could use some dimensional to pop that up with but I am just gonna go ahead and glue it down that way in this set of designer series paper I went ahead and cut out this bird we, I hand cut it as people would call it fussy cut I went ahead and cut that out so we're gonna go ahead and glue that down and I use my triple banner punch to get the um, tip to cut out that tip so to um, get that banner edge tip there you could also use your scissors to get that look And with this little picture of the bird, I'm just gonna add little hints of um, glue to that. And then we're gonna glue that down too there as well. Let's see. And that's our first card guys and I think that is cute and it makes it pop okay what you guys think leave me a comment down below all right so now with this card I use on the sentiment let's talk a little bit about the sentiments and the font or the greetings are saying on the fonts here so with this here, you could see how these fonts, when you're looking at your stamp set and you're buying your stamp set, you want to look and see these are nice, big, and bold. I use the thank you within this set. So it's nice, big, and bold. So you have to look and see when you're talking about proportion, if this was, you know, if you use something smaller or if you use these long, long sayings right there, congratulations is nice, it's nice and long. So these are the things you have to look at when you um, buying your stamp set, whether the wording is vertical, horizontal, and then this, uh, whether your um, card is for vertical or horizontal. So that's the stamp set that I chose from that. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our next card. So on with this card, I am using that Cajun craze and it's the same measurement as your base of your card, the base of the other cards. They are pretty much all the same measurements. Okay, five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna be using the side with the, um, the printed side with the feathers. And this um, printed side is um, cut at five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So I just want minimal border to be showing. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. So you just make that as even as possible like these are handmade cards they don't have to be perfect so some of the samples that are some things that I was going to go with I went ahead and cut out this layer right here and I stamped it in I used the saying in the good morning magnolia stamp set and they have a lot of bold prints within that stamp set, which I'm going to show you here. So they have a lot of gold um, sayings in this stamp set. They're nice and long, and they have gold lettering. Thinking of you is nice, but it's kind of short, okay? It's more, I would say, for your vertical, um, if you're doing vertical um, cards. Look at this nice big print right here. And the thank you and the hello, nice, big, and bold. So what you guys think about this one versus 
putting this with the black. You seeing the difference in how you may make your card pop? So it says not only for what you do for being someone so special, but for being someone so special. So which in you could also take a little wording like thanks and put that right up here in the corner. And it's saying thanks not only for being not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. And that helps to make your card pop. But you know, I think I, I was like, mm, not too much for that. And when I cut out some of these, they had the stitching on there. I don't know if you guys could see the stitching, but I wanted more of straight, clean lines. So I decided to leave out the um, stitching. So I went with a strip of black, and that's measuring one and one eighth by four and a quarter. And I went ahead and stamped out the wording thanks. Okay, and the white strip is measuring four and an eight by one inches, and the white is measuring one and one eight by four and a quarter. So we'll put that together, and then I use if you have um, black rhinestones or anything like that, you could put that. But I use a black gel pen, and I just put the the uh, dots there, just to fill in some of those that white space. So we're gonna go ahead and glue those on together. So I'm going to add glue to the white part of the card. And we'll try, and it's just, I just leave, left out just a little sliver of edges on these. All right, so with this, what I'm gonna do with that is take our dimensionals and then pop that up. And you don't have to use dimensionals, but we'll just pop this up with that. And just use the, the your nails to put an indentation. It helps you to get those back ends off. If you guys are watching, let me know where you're watching in or tuning in from. Or what you guys doing for this weekend. So let's just see, put that right there. And that is our card, guys. So if you wanted to even put back in behind the um, printed paper, you could do that. But I think that is simple and nice, okay? So we're gonna do something fun with our last card. And I'm gonna use that same Cajun craze, a rust looking paper. And we're going to do some stamping on this one here. And I'm going to use the Photo Farmer um, stamp set, which is, you have to use a foam pad with that to get your images to come out nice and crisp. And I am going to be using the Dress to Impress um, stamp set. And look at this. This has some nice, bold, letters this look at how this the um, lettering is running or the sentiment is running all right so this is when you're looking at buying your stamp sets you want to have a variety because it depends on how your card is facing and what kind of sentiments you want so this is running more portrait this is running more landscape all right so what we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna be using terracotta ink. And um, my base right here is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I am going to use one of the floral print from that stamp set. And I'm just gonna make an image for my background. And I am just going to be stamping off 
and stamping this throughout. It's always nice to have a scrap piece of paper under your work. So we're gonna stamp that up through to create that background look. Okay. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna color some lipstick. This um, stamp set comes with some dyes and we're gonna go ahead and color in this lipstick right here. I just love this stamp set. I just think it's so much fun. Um, so we're going to use alcohol markers and the best thing to use with the alcohol marker is your Memento Black Ink, which I read had written ahead and stamped that with. And I am using Smoky Slate um, in the stamping blends. So the light and the dark is what I'm going to use. And as well as for the tip of the lipstick, I'm going to use Light Calypso Coral. Okay, which is in the, the um, Russ family here. So on the base of the lipstick, we have two tips, which is interesting. If you guys don't know about the stamping um, markers, stamping blends, they have the smaller tip on this end, and you have that line to signify that, and you have the broader tip on that end, and this line to signify that. All right, I like the nice fluffy ends. So we're gonna go ahead and color the bottom of this in the lighter gray. And when you're using your blends, these would bleed right through. So make sure where you're putting it down is hidden, to the back is hidden, because they do bleed. And it's always nice if you're one person to go out the line is to stamp first, color it, and then um, and then cut it out so it won't matter, make a much of a difference, you know, if you go out the line. If you color first, then you cut it out. So we're gonna use the darker gray up here to the top. And the um, these blends really, you know, um, when you're doing your coloring, it makes a big difference versus regular markers and how they transition when you're blending. So I'm just gonna come in with a light one to kind of give it a variation from dark to light. And then I'll, now I'm gonna come in with the light Calypso Coral for the top part of the lipstick. So it's a lighter color to the rust color, the Cajun craze that I am using. So I'm gonna pull that color in. So look at the difference here with this color here. And I'm gonna add some white to the bottom of that. I'm gonna show you how it makes it pop. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, what I love with this here is I'm gonna add some navy blue, some blue to it. So we have some denim ribbon and I cut this six inches. So I'm gonna add that to this and it just breaks that color up. So what I'm gonna do is take some scotch tape just to tape that to, onto the back. You don't have to use as much scotch tape as I did for that one piece. So, so we're just gonna make sure we're nice and even here. It's kind of crooked. So let's straighten that up. Let's straighten that up there a little bit. All right, so that is better right there. So next what we're gonna do is, let me see if I find it we are going to get some twine up. So, so we're gonna add a bow. So I'm gonna try to do a bow live, which is not gonna be the easiest thing. So we're gonna add some white. Here we're talking about popping, so that white is gonna help it pop there. All 
Okay, so let me get my scissors. And we're gonna cut this long enough, I think. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna tie a bow. So we're gonna make that come on the side here. So let's see how good I could tie here. All right, so I'm just gonna hold on to this knot there in the middle and kind of tighten it here. So I wanna make sure my ears are even. And then once I get my ears even and the size that I want, then I could just trim off the little legs. So it takes a, a little bit to finagle and just get it just right. And you also could put a glue dot to the back of it to hold that down. So we'll go with that. So then after I have a little piece of white paper measuring, uh, how much is this measuring? Let's see. Let me see if I find my paper here. Give me one sec. And here we go. And that is measuring. I think this is like measuring three by two and a quarter. Let's see if I find this. White is measuring two and a quarter by three. Okay, two and a quarter by three. And we're gonna take out our sentiment that says, be as bold as your lipstick, okay? Be as bold as your lipstick. And then we're going to be using we're going to be using the terracotta tile ink. And like I said, when you're using your photo palmer and your photo palmer are these clear stamps. Okay, so it's not like your red rubber stamps, which has the cushion underneath. Okay, so this one does not have cushion, so it's recommended that you use a cushion to the bottom so your um, impressions could come out crisp all right so we're gonna go ahead and stamp that more here to the left and to the top and then it's nice to hold it down for a couple seconds just for the ink to transfer over to your paper and there be as bold as your lipstick so let me go ahead and put this up And then what I'm going to do is go ahead. See, but it's, I kept this. It's nice to have layers on your cards because your cards look more professional. It's more sturdy looking. It doesn't look as cheap when you have layers. You see that the colors are the same. Some people, you could stamp with just using this basic one and stamp on top here, but I think it just adds to it when you add your layers. So we're gonna go ahead and add some glue to the back of this. And then we go ahead and lay that down. Okay, so I like to have my open my the base of my card and make sure it's nice and even. So with this, it's harder to see because the colors are the same. So then what we're going to do is come in with our other card and we're going to glue that down right there. So we're just going to add some glue to the back of this and it's good to get glue that is that dries clear, okay? Be as bold as your lipstick. So now then we're gonna come in with the lipstick and I'm gonna pop that up on some sentiment. But I'm gonna go ahead and get have a white gel pen. 
okay so I'm gonna draw a design on the bottom part of that lighter gray and you're gonna see the difference that it makes is in terms of making your card pop and adding a difference to your card okay so I'm just gonna add some squiggly lines to that And there you see that difference I think it makes a big difference so what we're gonna do is pop that up with some dimensions like I said I love this stamp set this is a fun stamp set comes with the it comes with um, designer series paper too as well as the the dies and the stamp set so you could get this as a bundle and if you get it as a bundle you get 10% off so we're gonna add that here to the side and that's it guys so I hope you guys learned something today and how to make your cards pop or you could say your projects as a matter of fact I should be using my good rib um, scissors um, to cut my ribbon I'm on here somewhere so tell me guys what you think which one is your favorite there, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you could be notified when I do have up the latest videos until next time, thank you guys for watching. This is Claudette.